Have you ever felt manipulated in a relationship or situation? It's a feeling that leaves you questioning your own perceptions, and it's a common tactic employed by narcissists known as triangulation. In the world of psychology, triangulation is a manipulative strategy where a third party is used to create tension, competition, or conflict. Narcissists often use this technique to control and isolate their victims, maintaining a position of power. Now let's delve into 10 real-life examples of narcissists' triangulation. First up, the workplace rival. Picture this, you're eyeing a promotion, and there's that one colleague, the narcissist, who knows exactly how to play the game. They strategically sing praises of a less competent team member, subtly creating a rival where there was none. It's a classic move, they're not just undermining you, they're creating competition, stirring the pot of tension. And the worst part, it's so subtle, it can go unnoticed. But over time, this can create tension and even jeopardize your professional standing. Next, we have the family feud. Imagine being caught in a storm of whispers and rumors, all carefully crafted by the narcissist in your life. They weave a web of conflict, pitting sibling against sibling, child against parent. Their aim? to isolate you, to make you feel alone in your own family. They become puppeteers, pulling the strings to fuel disharmony. Remember, this is a manipulation tactic, a game they play to maintain control. These tactics can cause lasting damage to familial relationships. Moving on to the friend zone frenzy. Picture this, you have a close friend, someone you trust and value. Suddenly, the narcissist in your life starts flirting with this friend right in front of you, their goal, to create jealousy and insecurity in you. They want to drive a wedge between you and your confidant, destabilizing your support network, making you more dependent on them. This subtle manipulative tactic can lead to the loss of important friendships. Let's discuss the ex versus new partner drama. Picture a narcissist skillfully spreading seeds of discord. They might contact your ex, badmouthing your new partner, stirring the pot of drama. Their goal? to rekindle old flames while sabotaging your current relationship. They're playing a double game, keeping the past alive while undermining the present. It's a manipulative tactic that breeds confusion and jealousy, casting a dark shadow over your love life. This can create unnecessary drama and strain in your current relationship. Now we'll explore the social media showdown. Picture this. The narcissist, using the power of social media, begins publicly liking and commenting on posts from someone you're at odds with. Subtly but surely, they align themselves against you, stoking the flames of online gossip. They're not directly involved, yet their actions speak volumes, fueling the conflict from the sidelines. It's a cunning game of digital chess where your feelings are the pawns. This can lead to public embarrassment and further isolation. Next up is the guilt trip gambit. Imagine this, a narcissist leverages your empathy, comparing your happiness to the imagined suffering of another person they're manipulating. Craftily, they paint a picture so vivid you can almost see the other person's plight. Suddenly, you find yourself feeling compelled to sacrifice your own well-being, your own happiness, all for the sake of alleviating this conjured up distress. This is the guilt trip gambit in action, a manipulative tactic that can lead to feelings of guilt and obligation. Let's look at the jealous job saboteur. Picture this, you're doing well at work, achieving goals, and your narcissistic co-worker begins to subtly undermine your success. They highlight your triumphs to colleagues, but with a hint of sarcasm or excessive praise that feels off. Their aim? To foster envy, perhaps even resentment among your peers. This tactic can chip away at your professional reputation, causing you to face setbacks and potentially lose the respect you've worked so hard to earn. This can lead to professional setbacks and loss of respect. Moving on to the parent versus partner power play. Here, a narcissist might try to create discord between you, your significant other, and your parents. They artfully manipulate situations, stirring up misunderstandings and disagreements. This is a classic power play, all designed to make you feel torn between the two most important pillars of support in your life. The narcissist's ultimate goal, to isolate you, making you more dependent on them. This can lead to difficult choices and strained relationships. Now let's explore the online persona paradox. Picture this, a narcissist who presents themselves as charming and supportive on social media, showering friends and family with likes, comments and encouraging words. 
Yet when the screen goes dark, they engage in manipulative tactics towards you, their real-life target. This stark contrast between their public persona and private behaviour can create confusion, making you question your own perceptions. This can lead to self-doubt and a sense of isolation. Finally, we have the ex versus new friend face-off. Picture this. You're at a social gathering with your new circle of friends, feeling relaxed and accepted. Suddenly, your ex walks in, invited by none other than the narcissist. This unexpected reunion stirs up past insecurities, making you feel uncomfortable and edgy. The narcissist relishes the discomfort, using the situation to manipulate feelings and create divisions. This can lead to awkward interactions and unnecessary conflict. These are just a few examples of how narcissists use triangulation. From the workplace to your personal relationships, they weave a web of manipulation, inciting competition, jealousy and confusion. The workplace rival, the family feud, the friend zone frenzy and other scenarios we've discussed all have one thing in common. They aim to weaken and isolate you. Recognizing these patterns is the first step towards reclaiming your power. Remember, your well-being is important. Don't allow yourself to be manipulated. Set boundaries and prioritize your own happiness.